definitely needed to calm down this morning after reading this list. Oh, oh. oh it's gonna happen. Right. It's gonna happen to us. Okay, okay. So we have a new list of things that annoy millennials. I have not looked now, ahead at this because I wanted to be authentic and see this. We're old and grumpy. We'll see. Okay. We'll see if this gets us going. What you got? I think I think you're gonna agree with everything that's said here because I went down the list. I was like, oh my god, I'm an old millennial that hates everything. So first of all. These headlights, right? These new car headlights, they're oh way too gosh, bright. Oh my gosh, yeah. The right, LED Travis? headlights, I hate it. Are those like the blue ones? The ones that just yeah. blind you when someone's driving towards you. Yeah. Oh, Everyone's I... got their brights on now. Yeah. It's crazy. I you know what? And not everything needs to be recorded and photographed and put online. That's that's <laughs> true. That's, is that is that a complaint? That There's These are all complaints, yeah. Okay. So, and and uh, by the way, not everything, uh, or it's uh, the touchscreen keyboards are not as good as actual keyboards. Yeah, that I would agree with, I honestly. feel like that's been said for a while. Is that a, just a millennial <laughs> one? Apparently the fact that we complain about that it we now continue? is an old, grumpy millennial okay. thing. Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right. Another one is grocery stores are too complicated. Absolutely. First, I got to go to the app, and I got to clip all the coupons, and then I got to bag my own groceries, and then I got to remember to bring my bags. Like, why is everything so complicated at the grocery store? I, I, I can I agree with that, actually. I have gotten into so many fights with a robot kiosk that won't let me self-check out. I had my first... <laughs> I had never done this before, the pickup order. I had oh, never done yeah, that yeah. until yesterday. And to, I, to be fair, I didn't even put the order in. My girlfriend did, and then I drove over. I was just the pickup person. But uh, I, I didn't know how to do it. Like, you got to call and check them in, and it was, uh -huh. it was okay. It wasn't bad. I actually feel ahead of the curve on that one. I started doing order online pickup uh, really? during the pandemic, and that's how I do most of my grocery shopping still now because I want to avoid all the annoying <laughs> stuff inside the grocery store. It takes forever. Yes. <laughs> See, they're going to pick up the wrong thing, and that's going to bother me. So I don't do the online show. Mm -hmm. like I, they're going to get the, no, 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 I wanted this specific can, this specific brand of beer. <laughs> Your apple yeah. has a uh, spot on it. You would have never picked that one. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like, this is not the can I would have walked away with. Uh, oh one of the gosh. other things that I agree with is that not everything should have an app. Everything oh my gosh, I gotta yes. get. I go to the grocery store. I got an app. I gotta go to the McDonald's. I got an app. I gotta. Every, to, everything needs an app, and I gotta be a member of everything. Absolutely. Yeah. Every fast food promo that we run these days, you know, all these big box uh, places, McDonald's, all the fast food chains, they put out like, "Hey, we're doing free fries on whatever. All you have to do is download." download nope, the app. I'm out. I'm yeah. out. I'm not downloading yeah. another app. I went the other day, and some guy was talking about how he saved five dollars on the exact meal that I got, and I was like, "Oh man, like, what can just give me the discount? Yeah. Stop <laughs> charging me so much money." I know, I know. Mm -hmm. that Interesting. One, that one also what, makes me shake my fist at the sky. Is, what else is on this list? Or is that? Uh, there's not everything should have a QR code. Oh. Like, oh. Uh, or menus, yeah. or the restaurants. Restaurants should have actual physical menus. Have you been to the restaurant where the QR code's on the table and you just scan it? And then you're trying to figure out what's on the menu. And you keep like scrolling in and out of the yep. menu, and you're like, I don't. Is that? What, I do what list like am the I physical on? menu. Yeah. I, do like I a paper menu. will say, and uh, I'm not trying to sound like super antisocial, but I do like when you can scan the QR code and check in, check out everything on the on like the like those oh, toast tab things the order, yeah. like because then you don't have to wait on somebody if they're super busy right. you know to to yeah. come back and or like get you your like check eight and, people at your brunch table, right everyone you can, can just do it i do you know, like that you know the really millennial thing that i just heard the other day um someone made a comment to me about how i there are certain things that i like to do on a computer versus a phone like certain <laughs> like like paying i don't know like paying bills or or i have one for jobs, sure right mine's Different a plane emails. ticket i won't I don't buy a plane ticket. Yeah, stuff like that. It's I feel like computer. it needs. I feel like big jobs need big screen, That's and like social funny. media and little stuff needs little screen. I never thought about Apparently that. Apparently, that I is do a very that. millennial thing now. Yeah, yeah, there's so many things that we complain about that just seem like everyday things that. We shouldn't complain about, but that's what it is. Like people listening to their music on their phone really loud in public. Like I shouldn't have to tell you that that's not a good idea. That's the thing is like, is that even a complaint? This happened the other day. I was on a, a flight back to Portland and um, I hope the person I'm talking about, by the way, I hope you see this because I was mad. <laughs> You're watching a movie downloaded on your phone with no headphones. Oh, come on. Watching a movie. Don't do that. That is ridiculous. It was a, and it was a movie, so it wasn't short. Uh -huh. I don't, I, that's. I hope you're watching, lady, because that was that was not okay. What's gotten into people? Uh, Kids these yeah. days. Unbelievable. Have no oh shame. Gosh. I don't need to hear your whole conversation. I saw the last time I was at the airport, like someone's having like a full blown conversation about all the personal things. I'm like, should mm -hmm. I be writing this down? Am I the doctor? Like, it's just <laughs> yeah, crazy. No, right. you should just film it and post it and put it online because that's yeah. what everyone does now. Yeah. Everything is posted there everywhere. There you go. Oh, no. well. All right. Well, I guess we'll complain until tomorrow. We're sufficiently tomorrow. annoyed. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> it's you know, you got to go tell these kids to get off my lawn. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so skateboarding on the sidewalks. Get after him. <laughs> All right, thanks, Nick. And as always, you can catch Nick and Kristen weekdays on 99.5 The Wolf. I, I guess.